Well, let me first off uh, start off by saying our, we really believe that the insurance regulatory house is in order. Our house is in order. We've, we have a real proven record of success when compared to the current state of those institutions that are regulated at the federal level. And I'm talking about FEMA and their response to Katrina. I'm talking about the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac um, crisis that is occurring right now, the subprime mortgage crisis. Uh, there have been any number of issues of entities regulated at the federal level that you know right now aren't doing so well. And, and I think when you look at insurance regulation and the health of the insurance marketplace, uh, there's a real distinct difference. Let me also distinguish between insurance and other financial products, those products that are regulated at the federal level. Insurance is sold on Main Street. It's not a Wall Street uh, product. It's something that we as individuals buy anticipating some need in the future, not really knowing what that need is going to be. Um, but we buy the insurance to give us that peace of mind to know that when something occurs, we're able to uh, file a claim and get the claim paid. Now, oftentimes, um, we know they're complicated products. We rely on agents like you all to sell them. And, uh, and I must admit, we're all a little lax sometimes. We don't always ask all the questions we should. And even if we do, we don't really listen to the answers. And so when the time comes to file a claim, we may not fully understand what that product was that we bought. So we rely on our state insurance departments to be there and answer those questions for us. Um, state regulation is working. And let me just um, talk about some of the things that I think are really the hallmarks of state regulation. First of all, consumer protection. Um, I talk often that um, it's a three-legged stool. We, we regulate, we advocate, and we educate. And edu the consumer education is a, is a really important component of what we do. <clears throat> we promote a financial solvent and robust insurance marketplace. Since 1995, we've had 2,000 new companies formed in this country since 1995. That tells me we've got a pretty robust marketplace if, if we have a, a, a marketplace that is encouraging the development of, of up to 2,000 new companies. Insurance company surplus today are $500 billion. The, it's a record. So we've got, a, we've got insurance companies making rec record pro profits, performing well, and still meeting the needs of, of their consumers. Um, I think when consumers call 911 to get assistance, we want it to be a local call. I want you to be able to go drive to get your questions answered, not have to fly on an airplane to Washington to get them answered. I think the local aspect of, of regulation is what's so critically important. Let me talk, too, about some of the improvements that have been made over the years. We've been at this since 1871 when our national association was, was uh, founded and, of course, insurance uh, regulation started even prior to that. But it's been an, an evolving process. Uh, in the area of speed to market, the system for electronic rate and form filing, SURF, is a system that is in use in, in every state. Um, <clears throat> the interstate compact, which is now uh, up and running in 33 states, representing 54% of the premium volume, and that's for long-term care, disability income, uh, life, and annuity products. The uh, stream, streamlined company uh, licensing process, uh, the, uh, which is the Uniform Certificate of Authority application, uh, up in, and available in all states. Um, our financial regulation and accreditation system, which standardized financial solvency requirements across the country and, in a sense, created national standards that all states adhere to. Um, coordinated disaster uh, response. Um, you know, I can, after, um, when the federal government was figuring, tr really struggling in, with uh, Hurricane Katrina and trying getting the FEMA response up and running, our, our state regulators were manning call centers uh, in uh, the Kansas City office and then also in, um, in Mississippi and Louisiana. We had regulators from our departments on the ground assisting the regulators in those stricken states and assisting those agents. Many of those agents lost their offices as well. So it was a, uh, a time for us to, to step up to the plate, and we did. And state regulation was on the ground. Um, state regulators were on the ground assisting. 
Um, we have a world-class consumer education program through InsureU. It's won awards. The InsureU program has been, um, has, has been around the globe. It's been, um, we've uh, demonstrated uh, that program in uh, Latin America, um, the Middle East, and uh, Europe, and, and Asia. Um, we also, uh, on an annual basis, respond to over 3 million consumer inquiries and complaints. 3 million where people can call and uh, most likely get a, a, a person on the other end of the phone uh, quickly uh, without being transferred via a recorded message to call if you're being repeatedly transferred. And you all have made the calls to a uh, federal into, uh, office. You know what I'm talking about. We also are very active uh, in the international arena. We're, uh, um, major participant in the IAIS, the Insurance, um, um, insurance uh, the Association of Insurance Supervisors in, based in, in Europe. We're, we're, uh, we lead on several of the technical groups there. We're um, very involved with the SAL, which is the uh, Latin American Supervisors. We've been very involved in, in discussions in, in um, the Middle East, in, in Thailand, in China, in India. So, um, and those are very fruitful discussions because it's not government to government, it's regulator to regulator. We're doing the same jobs in our respective jurisdictions and we can communicate on, a, on that level of trust because um, we understand the job that is being done in those different countries. So, um, I would just say Insurance regulation at the state level is working. I think the, the facts bear that out. And there are areas which we believe we do need to continue to work on to make improvements in, and we're, and we're doing that. And I think we'll have an opportunity to talk about some of those areas as uh, this progresses. So thank you all very much.